What's up guys, Xenon Zero here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. In the last episode, we made it here to the end of this catwalk, fought some enemies, and now we're on our way to the deepest depths of the cathedral. In an effort to save Queen Lean. Prepare yourself, Queen Lean. Uh, I don't think so, I'm gonna interrupt you. The frog! Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. I don't know if that's the right voice. Be careful. Okie dokie. So, you're that guy. It's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. Beg your pardon, Chancellor? Stupid frog. It's time you jumped off this mortal coil. True form change. And now he gets dizzy and turns into a big ball of pain and sadness and electricity and death. This is Yakra. Reverts to Yakra. And now we get, for the first time, the boss music. Oh my god. I freaking love the boss music in this game so much. So much, man. It is so good. Now, the only downside to attacking him in any way is when you do, he counterattacks all three of your teammates, which sucks. However, I believe things like Flame Whirl and uh, others will actually cause him not to counterattack. But it's only when you use magic damage, so fire right now is the only magic ability we have. So we're just going to have to make sure we live through all these counters. The other thing you can do is you can actually uh, I think you can Fire Whirl him and it'll do more damage. Slurp from Frog is actually a very useful ability right now, because that's the only healing spell you have as well. Uh, and I haven't shown it off yet, so now's as good a time as any. Bloop. That's right. Heal me! Thank you, Frog. Much appreciated. Now, I think, also, if you do a solo attack, he doesn't do a counterattack, depending on how far away he is. Which is unusual. Yeah, you have to do a certain amount of damage, I guess. Is the way the mechanic... I never actually figured it out. The actual mechanic behind it. I believe it's for every hundred damage you do, he counterattacks. Unless it's magic damage, blah 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 blah. I stand thoroughly corrected. Oh well, he doesn't do a lot of damage. Plus, as you go, you can just sit here and be like, Well, I'm gonna use tonics for an entire turn. Like, who cares? And just regain all of your health for everybody and be like, oh yeah, whatever. Because it's really not a big deal. He only does like 13, 14 damage when he does his counterattack. He's really not a powerful boss. He's just... He's so non-threatening. Which I find hilarious. <laughs> he's supposed to be this big, bad, terrible boss and it's like, oh, I'll get you sooner or later. Upside, though, you get to listen to the sweet... Freaking God, I love this music. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Until now, where he dies. See ya, Yakra. You lose. Get out of my face. You got 50 XP, 5 tech points, and 600 gold. Chrono leveled up. Yeah. Get out of my house, Yakra. You're not even cool. What's in these chests? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I forgot about you, didn't I? You came to rescue me. Thank you, Frog. The king awaits. Let us return to the castle. I thank thee, Chrono, and Luca. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. Alright, yeah, I can do that. But first and foremost, let's open these chests. You got a mid-ether. And a person! What's up, buddy? Oh, thank you. That monster stuffed me in there. Oh, your highness. As you can see, I am undamaged. Cool. And we saved the day like a bunch of heroes. Let's return to the castle. Alright, let's do that. And it's going to be so kind as to teleport us all the way there. You had me worried, Lean. That no-good Yakra, impersonating me and kidnapping the Queen? 
We must make a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. What's up, frog? I failed to protect Queen Lean. I hath disgraced thee. A frog! What? Where are you going? Frog, come back! Ah, uh, wait. First and foremost, I want to talk to you guys. Thank you, Chrono. But who was that girl we found in the canyon? Your timing was perfect. Who knows what would have happened had you not saved me? By the way, where is the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh, yeah! I forgot all about Princess Nadia! Chrono, where did Princess Nadia disappear? She may still be there. That's a good point! Let's go find out! All the way upstairs and on the right! I believe is where she disappeared. I say I believe like I haven't played the game before. <laughs> God, hilarity. Ba -ba -da. I love... God, the music in this game is so good. What is going on? You're not wearing a dress no more! That's weird. Uh-huh. What happened? Princess Nadia! Chrono! Oh. It was awful. I can't recall it all, but I was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. Is that what it's like to... die? Welcome back, Princess Nadia. You risked your life to help me too? Princess Nadia? Uh-oh. I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Sorry, Chrono. I didn't mean to deceive you. I don't mind. I'm Princess Nadia. My father's King Guardia the 33rd. I really enjoyed my being with you at the fair. But if you had known my identity... Chrono, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? What? No! Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you. I like me too. I'm pretty cool. The real queen's safe, right? So let's go home, Chrono. Let's do exactly that. But first, I love this... Oh, God, this is like my favorite song in the game. It seriously is. I love this song. Alright, that's enough of that. Sorry. <laughs> that is easily my favorite song in the game. But then again, it's like every song in the game is my favorite song, so... I have this whole soundtrack, too. Like, hard disc. Hey, what's up? You're the real Queen Lean, huh? You really could be my twin. Well, you two better get along, or I'll be in big trouble. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Uh, excuse me? Uh, never mind. I guess it's time to go. Alright, well, let's leave then. Hey, Frog, where were you going? Twas a fault of mine which endangered the Queen. I shall depart for good. <laughs> Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Chrono, you hath potential to be a good swordsman. And then he hops away. <laughs> I love Froggy, so cool. Froggy, you aren't such a bad guy either. He's so cool, I love Frog. Frog is definitely, like, one of my favorite characters. I need to stop saying what is and is not my favorite in this game, because the answer is everything. Everything is favorite. <laughs> oh, boy. So let's head onward. Let's, let's get back to our time. That's enough being in 600 AD. Let's get out of here and be done with this. Oh, but new enemies first. New enemies? These are birds. They fly. They're blue eaglets. I can never remember all the names of all the enemies. I try to. I just can. I can never do it because it's just there's so many enemies in this game. Then again, if you think about it, we've only seen like nine or ten, maybe twelve. Not many. You got a heal. Well, look at you. You got a heal. That's pretty cool. Let's head this way. 
Bop, bop. All right, well, that said, let's go back to where we came into this mess, which is Guardia, or Truce Canyon, I'm sorry. I almost said Guardia Canyon. I don't know why. I guess it would make sense, because it's the kingdom of Guardia, but the town is called Truce. I don't care about you. I've already fought you. I'm going to have to fight here, I think. Yep. But that's okay, because it's a new enemy. The curse of the reskinned enemy. He's all over the place. The poly! Fuck the poly. <laughs> yeah. That was my bad gangster impression. I have a million of bad impressions. A million of bad impressions. Take of out of that sentence. That doesn't make any sense. Note to self for editing. Make it make sense. That's alright. I'm not too worried about it. Let's... God, can you kill that imp? Thank you. Took far too much work just to kill that poly. 11 XP. Pfft. Oh, hey. New and... Oh, God. A ton of new abilities. Slash Aura and Aura Whirl. For Chrono, Marl, and both of them. Ah. So, how do we get home from here, Miss Genius? We're still stuck here. Hey, it's an eyeball. Cool. How do we get home? Your Highness, er, Princess, we... Please, call me Marl. Well then, Marl, observe! Bazoom! Whoa! You're amazing! Ain't it the truth? <clears throat> uh, I mean... Enough with the false modesty, you have a real gift. I trade my royal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, this thing is called a gate. Tutorial explanation! It's a portal that takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are pretty unstable, so we made a telepad device that's portable called a gate key. Now we can use these gates whenever we feel like if we find it. But why did it suddenly appear? That's a good question. Let me answer it. Either telepath us how to do it, or, you know, not really. It's cool. Well, this is getting weird. Let's head back to our own time. All right. You coming, Chrono? Well, yeah. I mean, there's no sense not to. I want to go home. And you have the stupid key. Without it, I'd be kind of stuck here, wouldn't I? Why would I not want to go home? That's just stupid. Yes, I want to stay in 600 forever. I mean, I get to hang out with Frog, and that's pretty sweet. But whatever. Oh, and we're back home safely. Ah, <sighs> we're back. Chrono, Luca, why don't you come home with me to the castle? I'd like you to come over for dinner. Uh, sorry for putting you through that, Marl. Are you joking? That's the most fun I've had in months. And I have some new friends, too. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I have some work to do. Like... Figuring out things. Ba -da 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 Will you escort me home, Chrono? Of course! Why would I not? So, now that that's all said and done, how much money do we have after all that nonsense? I should have plenty. Because I want to see if... Yeah, I have, I have enough. I wanted to see if I had enough to buy the load sword, but I think Melchior's not here anymore. After that mess. Oh no, he is! Awesome! Hey, Melchior. You want to buy something? Hell yeah! You there, sell me that new fancy sword of yours. I would like one. Look at that. Brings it up to 31. I'm so buying it. And I'm actually going to sell all the old ones because nobody cares. <laughs> I love how that works. Just like, ah, new thing. Sell all the old stuff. Nobody cares. Oh, God. And with that, we have new equipment and everything. I live on the continent of the east. Come see me sometime. By the way, could you talk that young lady into selling a pendant? You asked me this earlier. Not doing it. But that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode, where we do some other things. It'll be great. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wondrous day. See you later, guys.